What's up everyone, welcome back to post patch MK11. In today's video, it is time to revisit an old friend. An old friend being Dirtbag Kano. Uh, if you guys remember, I made my video on Dirtbag Kano where I examined this character and I pretty much said at the time that he was the worst variation in the game. Back then, when it came out or when I made that video, uh, I basically stand by saying that him and what's his name, the other variation of Aaron Black, whatever it's called, are or were the two worst variations. Uh, there has been a couple of changes over the patch, which, you know, I didn't really cover the patch, mainly because the character that I play, uh, Kotal Khan, he got some frame adjustments, but nothing major, you know, some characters got whole different toolkits and all that, so that's why I didn't really examine the patch too much, but this character, Dirtbag Kano, got quite a few buffs. I think they really were focusing NRS on making the uh, shitty variations a little bit less shitty. Overall, I think they were good at doing that, they achieved that. The question remains on whether anyone will actually use these variations, you know. Oftentimes, even if a variation is not bad, you know, so to speak, there tends to be one that is uh, superior. So one of the things that people were really pissed at me about was the fact that I missed his uh, back two as a launcher. I said he had no launchers, which is wrong. He does have back two. So yeah, that mistake I'm going to correct because I was wrong there. Okay, what did this variation get? Well, first things first, I'm not going to go over everything, but... One of the key changes is that his Molotov is no longer 100% absolute guaranteed death when you throw it out. One of the biggest criticisms I had for this variation is that this move, if you threw it out, you were basically incredibly easy to punish. Like, like free. Free by any character's standards. So setting anything up in the setup variation was nearly impossible. So now that has changed. I think this forward two into the Molotov is basically safe against 90% of the cast. Some characters I think with very high or like very far reaching up threes can punish it. But that's about it. So you can actually now practically get the Molotov out. Uh, you can also do things like this. Oops. And you will have actually time to recover and block. You of course don't get a turn, like you're not supposed to do anything after that. But yeah, the Molotov is finally practicable. Or practical. Practicable, what the fuck. Uh, which is, which was weird that he couldn't do it before because all the other setup characters uh, have practical ways. But whatever, that's in the past. He also got some changes to Vegemite. Uh, this move I think is a tiny bit faster. The up ball, even faster. I think there is something else adjusted with the up version as well, which I didn't show, but you can steer it, I think, later. So if you do a full screen ball and the opponent tries to jump, you can react to it. Uh, unlikely that you will be able to do that, but you can do that. So yeah, the up ball does, I think, a tiny bit more damage. That's 140 and that's 120. Yeah, but something like this, uh, the type of combos combos I say that this character has just tricky timing uh, fuck this is the pressure of YouTube getting to me I really can't do it I was able to do it before shit well this is embarrassing but you can do this uh, where you go into the Vegemite and you go into the ball you can do it I swear I am not making shit up here. Uh, he also got finally some changes to his chemical burn. This is a lot safer, so if I go AI option block mode all, uh, if I throw it out, you can see there's a lot more distance between us now. This is still very minus, but again, this move used to be almost 100% guaranteed death, so it's no longer that. There we go. Okay, that was frustrating. Uh, apparently, I'm not very good at Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, sorry about that, boys. Officially, I suck. The chemical burn changes uh, also apply to its range. It is now a lot more consistent, pretty much before. 
some of the stuff he could only get it like off of this and like off of one one stuff like that but now he can i think this was the big one he couldn't get it off of his two two before and it still whiffs occasion wait maybe it still whiffs mid screen but i think this was not possible this now is possible you do have to move forward yeah there we go it is possible chemical burn also got some changes to how its damage applies i think it has like just a little bit more tick damage if i remember correctly but the big thing is the amplified version of chemical burn kano can now do a close version of this lightning oh not lightning what the fuck i really can't talk today of this fire uh this isn't raiden so the practical applications of this are really in the corner uh i think most people have probably seen this shit but you can do something like this i think i think i missed it but there we go shit there's a way to maybe i'm just an idiot but there's a way to uh apply the fire oh yeah because i think you need to do two i think the combo is something like uh up to this is it yeah this is the one so this setup you can pretty much loop uh the chemical burn and there's not much he can do about it, the opponent, because this, I mean, let me just show it, this stuns for a long time. Like, do you see how long Noob Saibot is in that stun state? So, shit. Excuse my execution. Obviously, I don't play this character. I'm just kind of revisiting it. Uh... Shit, I keep missing the down one. I really keep missing the down one. There we go. And uh, I didn't do the close one. But if you do the close one, you will have the fire out like this. And the opponent is immediately going to get stunned. Which means you can uh, kind of loop the offense. Of course, there is way to get, ways to get out of this delayed wake up and all that. But it's like, who the fuck is going to know what to do against uh, Dirtback Kano? So, overall... I really gotta commend them because they actually did change this variation and they changed it for the better. Uh, combo wise there's still not much you can do but this is not meant to be a combo variation which is you know it's completely understandable. There's like an isn't there an enhanced version of this? No I don't think so. So yeah this is not meant to be a combo variation this is meant to be a setup variation and I think they improved him quite a bit. Now Listen, again, I'm no Kano expert, but I would still hold out that the other variation is better because it has the tick throws, it has the damage, you can also do shit like this. That's almost guaranteed. Uh, well, except for if they break the throw. So, yeah, I'd still say the other variation is better, but hey, this variation might be like a fun, you know, kind of challenge variation. And now it's not like just trolling uh now he's actually viable speaking of viable let's take this motherfucker online Alright, so here we go. Combat League. Yeah, I haven't played too much of Combat League so far this season. There's only 8 dailies left, so not gonna get to too high of a rank. Honestly, the main reason is, first of all, holidays and all that. I was, again, you know, away quite a bit. Is there no one online? Seriously? Uh, I was away quite a bit and traveling and all that, but the main reason is that really pre-patch this game... Uh, I wasn't enjoying the game too much. Honestly, I felt like the game was in a state, and I made this clear in other MK videos and updates that I made as well, that I just wasn't having too much fun with the game. I will say, the patch helped out a ton. I think they really did well with this patch. 
and they made kind of significant changes to the overall gameplay. What the fuck is happening? Combat League. All right, I'm probably going to have to edit uh, uh, the kind of wait out. I can't believe it. What is going on? Is there no one online? But yeah, overall, I think the game is... Okay, finally. The game heard me bitching and decided to give me a match. But um, I think the game is in a better state. Seriously, bruh. It's just going to come down to uh, whether it actually affects things like character variety and all that online. So far, I've still seen a shit ton of scorpions. But hey, time will tell. Time will tell. Finally. Finally, we have someone with not a shitty connection. I got like three matches before this and they were all yellow bar. This dude is still on Wi-Fi. So let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, there he is. I couldn't even find him. Shows you how much I play this character. All right, Aaron Black. He's nerfed now, like way nerfed. So now I'm not so scared. That is a cool outfit though. Because Aaron Black before used to be a nightmare. I feel like he is for sure the most nerfed character. So we'll see how this goes. I fought like one other Aaron Black, but I was using my main, of course, uh, since the patch. Okay, ouch. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I keep forgetting about the close one. Okay. Boot drop still works. God, this is a... This is gonna be a clusterfuck of a match, that's for sure. You know, that's the thing about Aaron Black. I did the wrong thing. I meant to do Veggie Mighty. I think this dude thinks he's playing pre patch Aaron Black. Yeah. Whereas. I don't know if. This is, oh, fuck! There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is what you're meant to do with him. He's supposed to be kind of like a methodical character. So far, this has not been the primary or the best. Oh, that combo, though. The best demonstration of uh, what you call it, dirtbag. Okay, activate Vegemite. Okay, activate Vegemite. Yeah, waste all your ammo. That, that that has also been made a lot worse because before that used to yeah he's gonna do it of course what the hell veggie mighty oh I still had it why did I think that why did I think that goes away yeah of course like yeah th this dude I think he's still playing pre patch Aaron Black uh he's going out with the fatal blows and all that yeah it's I don't think so. So what was I saying? They made his Fatal Blow quite a bit worse. It's still good, but a bit worse. And yeah, you're not supposed to... Not not supposed to. You can't go as ham with him as before. Because that was my main issue with Aaron Black. That he could just do whatever. And then, you know, 2-2-2 two, two, two into the Scud Shot was just ridiculous. Uh, so... So none of that shit works now. Okay, that's the one you gotta be careful of. I'm gonna, gonna try like, getting the Molotov out. Oh, that, that's what I was gonna say. He gets less off of uh, his what you call it. His setup, the slide into the EX acid. He used to be able to get... Uh, it's like things almost guaranteed. I almost got the setup. Or the, the loop. Wait, hold on. Weren't they supposed to have taken that away? 
away, I can't even talk. Eat shit, bitch. Wait, okay, I think you're supposed to choose the direction there. Uh, yeah, I was just about to say he's gonna, he's gonna do it. God, these Aaron Blacks, man. I almost want to check out this character just to see him post-patch. Okay, watch this comeback now. No ammo, bitch. Okay, he's gonna do that. Fine, fine, fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, there was my chance with the Molotov. I gotta get that Molotov out. He keeps blocking low, that's the issue. Yeah, he, he's blocking low. This guy plays in a ridiculous manner, can I just say that? I'm dead. I'm not dead. These... Ugh, I can't believe I lost. Like, the <laughs> Aaron Black is... Seriously. Or I mean, like, these Aaron Black players are absolute maniacs. Just forward two, forward two, I mean forward four, forward four, forward four, forward four, slide. And they, they just do it. And I'm guessing, like, when you commit... After a while, it just tends to work. It's not safe anymore, I think. Okay. There's still a mix-up off of it. Well, listen, who am I complaining to? Like, Aaron, I mean, Kano is a perfect Angabanga character. Like, this is one of the ways to play him. Just go, you know. Shit. Grab, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get this Molotov if it kills me. No, because he's just gonna... I don't think so, bitch. Listen, he's just waiting for Fatal Blow to come back. Kano Ball to end it. Veggie Mighty. Kano ball. Kano ball. I just realized why I was getting input error cause, errors because I'm using the I'm using the broken controller that I have. As in it's not broken, but the D-pad is kind of fucked up. Yeah, the other one is charging, that's why. Alright, well that was my friends, if I could call you that. Uh round two or session two with Dirtbag Kano. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, this character is kind of fun. The problem is that it's very, very difficult to force your opponent into a situation where his setups are practical. They are a lot more practical now, but I don't know, maybe it's possible. Maybe, I mean, obviously in a tournament setting or at high lev higher levels, people don't play like this. I mean, this guy was doing just like flying all over the screen with the Ford 4s, just sliding, so... This type of player, he's very difficult, like, it's very difficult to force him into the corner, so... Who knows? Again, maybe it's a little bit practical. I did have one opportunity where I screwed up the setup. Not gonna lie, I did do that, but I feel like that dude would have gotten caught by that too. Still, this character is a lot better. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll use him as a secondary. Again, my bigger issue that is that I think they overall kind of screwed up Kano in terms of uh, just being a joke character, whereas he wasn't that much, I mean he got his ass kicked and all that in X, but he wasn't that much of a joke character. Still, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, 
Uh, I don't know who the worst variations are in this game currently with the patch, but if you got any suggestions on who I should check out, you know, just like really, really terrible variations, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video. As always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the views and comments for these type these MK videos because I do not actually make any money from them because of YouTube's monetization system. But hey, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.